Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. We have so many new friends here on the channel and I'm so excited to have you guys with me today. We are doing a small bathroom refresh or makeover. This is my children's bathroom, our guest bathroom. So we have a lot of people in and out of this space, including my own three children, which can sometimes get a little messy at times, but I try my best to keep this bathroom in order. But over the years, it has had some serious wear and tear. As you can see here on the cabinets, that is one of the biggest things that I want to tackle today is refinishing or painting these cabinets. But my goal for today is to make this bathroom look new and fresh and also make it functional for my children as well. But first I wanted to show you some quick before shots of the condition of the bathroom. There's some rust stains, there's some dirt in the tub. I had kids who decided they wanted to play in the mud the day before this. So this bathroom needs some cleaning and some decorating too. So we're just going to do all the things in today's video. So we're going to get started here on the cabinets because I know that's going to be the longest process in between painting and drying. And I am using the Rethunk Junk Resin Paint. I wanted to find something that would blend really well with my countertops since I don't plan on changing those out anytime soon, but I kept coming back to this color Oyster. I thought it was a really pretty, natural, creamy tone. And then when I got in the store, I saw this fog color and then I, I just second guessed myself for a little bit. So I brought it home too, and then I realized it's literally the same color of my walls. So I will not be using that one today, but maybe I can find a project in the future that I could use this on. And then I'm gonna finish it off with this tough top in the satin finish. I thought about maybe doing matte, but I figure since this is a high traffic area, maybe the um, tough top satin would be best. And then of course, we're gonna prep it all um, with the prep spray. I just thought this was a really cool product. I've seen a lot of people use the Rethunk Junk um, collection on cabinets and lamps and just different types of furniture. So I really wanted to give this a try and see if it was worth the hype. But I have always been a chalk paint curl and in the past couple of years, I've just noticed it doesn't hold up as long um, as I was hoping. So I'm really, excited about trying this and I'll have to do an update um, maybe in the next couple months to let you know how it's holding up in the children's bathroom. But I love just like chalk paint, you do not have to do any sanding. Um, you just want to start with the prep spray and just wipe everything down, get it good and clean, and then you get started painting. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and take all the hardware off and get this wiped down with the prep spray and then get started painting, but I am gonna speed it up a little bit because I know that can be kind of a long drawn out process if you're not like me and enjoy painting and maybe it's a stress reliever or it's just calming to you, um, I will have this sped up for you so that you won't have to sit through that part. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started painting and then while the first coat is drying, I'm going to work on other areas of the bathroom. So I was there to breathe again
beside each other there Through anything and back here again I guess the desert took us there Whenever you So here is what it looks like with the first coat finished. I ended up changing brushes midway through because the shop that I purchased it from, um, they recommended a wood grain brush, which I like the concept behind it. That's what I wanted it to look like. But um, it was just, the, I don't know, the brush hairs were falling out. It was not really going on as smoothly as I was hoping. So I used a short um, angled brush and I really like that a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and then work on the shower curtain. We had some muddy fingerprints on there. So I know I'm gonna have to get the shout out and get scrubbing a little bit and then get that washed. So um, I'm gonna work on the shower, getting that taken care of and getting it cleaned out and then we'll get back to painting.
this neat little hanging, I guess, pocket system um, at the Dollar General, and it's mesh, and it's actually for the bath, the bathroom or the tub, and I just thought it'd be perfect for the kids' toys or their cups or, um, you know, any of their body washes, and just keep everything off of the tub floor. So I'm just going to suction this up on here and then get started putting in the new curtain rod. I purchased this one from Amazon. I knew that I wanted to find a black one and this industrial style really popped out at me. So this is the one that we're gonna be using today. I think it um, is just more aesthetically pleasing and I love that it was a little bit larger than my other one. Um, it just seemed a little bit more sturdy. So we're gonna get this put up here, put the hooks up, and then I wanted to show you guys our new soap dispenser. I'm really excited about this I guess you know like you're a grown-up when you get excited about um, new cookware or a soap dispenser right <laughs> but my mom told me that they got these at her place of work and she said they were really great for just sanitary reasons and it's hands-free so the kids don't have to touch the pump or get the head of the soap dispenser all muddy since you know we're already muddy everywhere else in this bathroom <laughs> but I just thought this was really cool um, and I'm really excited about the kids using this and having less mess and you know overall just being a little more sanitary in this bathroom since it is our guest bathroom as well but it is the Purell E6 touchless electric dispenser I think I'm saying that right they do have a few different colors but I thought the white would be perfect for our bathroom and just because I don't like the <laughs> sticker on the front I'm just gonna peel that right off just to make that look a little bit cleaner in here and of course I went to YouTube to make sure I had this assembled just right but I think we're really gonna love it I let some of the kids try it out um, just to make sure you know, we were doing it right, but the only downside to having this where I did, because I did want it on this wall, um, was our studs. We only had a stud right above this outlet, and I was super happy about that, but my kids don't really use it anyway, so I'm just going to put those little baby plugs, um, you know, that you can get in the baby department to keep kids from sticking their fingers in the outlet. I'm just going to put those over it just in case, but it seems to set out far enough so that I don't have to worry about anything splattering. It does come out as a foam, so it's not going to shoot out liquid anywhere. It's just really super convenient for kids and just to keep things clean in here. So I'm really excited about having that up. I know that you can purchase it at Staples. I believe it's about $24.99 or Lowe's and then of course you can just fill the refills whenever you're ready um, but my mom said they do last a really long time so I'm super excited about that maybe I'll save a little money there too Come home to me once you 
The cabinet is finally dry I'm so excited I think this really turned out so pretty and so I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the hardware back on get some toilet pa paper back up here for the kids and then I'm gonna do a quick wipe down of the sink and the mirror and then I will show you the final reveal of how our little small bathroom refresh or makeover turned out <laughs> final reveal of our bathroom for our kids and our guests. I'm really excited with how it turned out. Didn't have to spend a whole lot of money. It was very budget friendly and I love that I was able to be more hands-on and still have a new look to this bathroom. I know it's a very small space to work with but I think it all came together so nicely and I am loving all of the farmhouse and industrial touches here in the bathroom. And although I used a lot of what I already had, just those few purchases made all the difference. And this is probably my favorite part of this entire makeover is this cabinet. I am so excited to be done with the stain. I was so tired of touching up stain over and over again where it had chipped from water damage or just being wiped down um, to keep clean. So I think this turned out so pretty. It looks like I had a brand new 
bathroom cabinet installed. So it was totally worth the time it took to do it. It dried super easy and I was able to do this in just one day. So I love it, you guys. You're gonna have to let me know what you think. And so far, I would highly recommend the Rethunk Junk resin paint. It was so easy to work with. So I'll give y'all a little update in the months to come as to how it's holding up because I always want to give you my honest opinion when it comes to DIYs or projects I'm doing around my house. And that wraps it up for me today. I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this gives you some inspiration when doing those little at-home projects or tackling those little areas of your home that may be somewhat of an eyesore to you. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty, to try something new. I promise you will love the outcome. And if you have any questions, I'm always here to help. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.